Hi there. Welcome back to Kids of Bits Gaming. I'm Rachel. I'm Mikil. <laughs> and this is Nifa. I love that you can hear her jingle bells, but like when we need her to like fucking meow, <laughs> no, she yeah, won't. Right? Do it, kitty! <laughs> Do it! Alright, anyway, we got through the challenge. I'm not yeah. very excited about it. <laughs> Did I take a shot again? Drink responsibly. Yes, please do that. Did I take a shot of liquor in between filming? Did I get a press hibiscus and blackberry in my little koozie? 110% I did. Ah, what you hear? Beauty and grace. Yeah. Anyway, before I get too far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Did not say that in the beginning of the last episode. Look, it's a oh. seagull. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Exploding. Lottie the Seagull. You know what? If you live in Florida and or Wisconsin in the summertime, <laughs> you understand the fuck seagull mentality, okay? I went, I went to Coles and I forgot Recently? how many seagulls. So many seagulls in the Coles parking lot. lot. It's stupid. Fuck that Coles. <laughs> There's so many seagulls in that goddamn parking lot of Coles. Sweet Jesus. My mother was driving like, okay, I guess we're just going to dictate our driving to yes, Coles. To the seagulls. To the seagulls, yeah, of course. Yeah, to the seagulls, of Oh, course. I'm supposed to be mutt mutton mashing. <laughs> mutton mashing? Mutton mashing. Mutton mashing. Mutton mashing. Just mutton those mashing. <laughs> mashing that fucking mutton. Oh, God. Yes, uh, our coals in Wisconsin here, uh, where yeah. we live, is just fucking Seagull yeah, City. And it doesn't make sense, but mm -mm. there's not really... I mean, I suppose there. there is a tiny body of water nearby, but... No, there's a fucking Culver's. <laughs> A.K.A. Wisconsin Paradise, mm. A.K.A. Seagull Paradise, A.K.A. French Fries. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you've never been to Wisconsin and you would like a tip, go to a quick trip and please go to a Culver's. That's yeah. all you need to know. Yeah. You want to experience Wisconsin culture? Quick trip and Culver's. That's yeah. all you need. Yep. Make sure you get a double butter burger with everything on it, though. We'll say. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Chef kiss. I don't eat much fast food, but when I do, but when I do, it's I fucking a in. double butter burger <laughs> with everything on it from Colby's. However, oh, Colby's. When it's I so insane how many people line up for Colby's though. It's, real <gasps> it's disgusting. Ridiculous. So, <laughs> like, like because I'm a lazy hoe. All right, like me and Dakota are the epitome of Bro, lazy humans. <laughs> oh wait, okay. Oh, I, yeah, I need the chesty. treasure. Wait, it's a chesty tube. how do I? You how do I? Sarah, let me down. Can you go to your left. Let me down. I want. I want. Let I me want down. the chest. Let me down. Give us the chest. I can't abort. I want mission. the chest. It won't let me abort mission, and I'm real sad. What is happening? I don't know, but I'm sad about it. Okay, try it again. Do you think it'll let me abort mission from over here? I, I, hang on. They better let us, okay? Nope. But, the, nope. hold up, go back. Oh, no, no, I see a path down, I see, oh, I see. Oh, God. I okay. see, I see. Hang on, hang on, hold, hold, hold. Hold for dramatic effect, please. And we're on our way. Um, ha! Ha ha, motherfucker. Maybe? Look, she looks, nails. look, I should, hang on. Hold. <laughs> I just wanna, I just wanna take a picture of her. Okay, please look at me. And, uh, smile. And three, two, smile. Thank you. She's so mad at you. I just would like to... Hang on. I will send this to you so you can show the audience. Look at how pissy she is. Just, I had to. Like, where I'm at the couch, like, the anger of the small cat is just, like, chef kiss levels. Mm. That was like when I put the ramen noodle, like, in the most <laughs> recent episode of The Quarry. She was just the most unhappy camp I've ever fucking seen. And it's so funny, because Mr. Wayne and Mr. Rabbit are just the happiest of munchkins. She imbues hatred. She it's imbues anger. anger. She is just literally, like, crap. <laughs> like, I am re-watching, uh... The Seven Deadly Sins uh, on Netty Flix. Oh, okay. And uh, for like the umpteenth time. God knows. Because <laughs> um, I fucking love that anime. Shamelessly, I love that anime. That's okay. Have there you just some. I need haven't to watch watched it, it personally. Look, if, if you have a hard time with season two, that's chill. Like, everybody has a hard time with season two. Because it's. Not season one, but season two. Season two. It's why. 
I don't ask. Um, but like it's it's just short stories of like stuff that's happening in the interim. Oh. Yeah, it's like literally four episodes oh. of season two is. But like if you God. can just skip My season two because it's really not that important to the plot. No, okay. it's not. People that love Seven Deadly Sins, you can come for me in the comments down below. That's chill. That's <laughs> I'll, I'll accept it. Let me go up, please. Okay. Let me let Kratos. <laughs> oh, Meepy. Okay. Okay. Oh, Meep. She what is it. happening here? She was done. She Meep, was done were you done? Shit. Are you done? I don't want to touch your belly. <laughs> She's she loves so it. spastic. She just went for it. So I've been rewatching that because like I have a problem and I like to rewatch my comfort shows, okay? Mm -hmm. Um There are plenty of comfort shows. Look, okay, what The Office, it? Seven Deadly Sins has now become part of that. Okay. And um motherfucking Gilmore girls. Okay. Comfort shows, baby. My, my sister's into that with you. Gilmore the, girls? The Santa Clarita diet? That's I've never watched that. It's so good. I've heard it's so good. <laughs> I've heard it's amazing. It is. It Not really part is. of my comfort show list. No. Not yours. However, watch your fucking comfort show. If you haven't watched your comfort show this year, it's time. It's time. Merry Christmas. You're welcome. You need it. We're 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 rolling. We're about to roll into that that fall winter fiasco. Just just watch something comforting. This is the time of year that I like to do one of two things. This time of year, I like to. Oh, there's so much shit. Having oh, so. Oh well, that was a. Do you see what's happening shot. around me? And I'm a little salty about it. Oh, there you go. What is so chaotic? Don't don't ask questions. Just watch your comfort show. But like everybody, tell me your favorite comfort show down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Like tell me about it. Um, because I'm always looking for a new show to watch. Did I binge watch Dahmer? Yeah. Did yeah, you? I did. Oh fuck! I binge watched that in two days. That wow. that show. Baby girl, you underestimate how much I love true crime. <laughs> I'm a true crime motherfucker. I, I don't know if I said it jokingly here or if it's just my coworkers. Legit, <laughs> I had to turn it off because of the animal abuse towards the tadpoles. That's what ruined it. That's me. it? And that's no, you gotta episode. keep watching. It gets <laughs> so much more fucked up. We'll admit. 10 out of 10. Like, I saw him about to pour the oil and my body's like, nah, I'm out. You hurt animals, I'm done. <laughs> I cringed at the tad bull thing for a little while. I did. I will admit that I did I'm, I'm trying to get back into it, though. I am. Like, I've been flicking on just like, I'll put in, like, 15-minute, 10, 15-minute segments just so I just can, watch like, power it. through it. Just watch it. It's, it's 10 out of 10 like that. How do I get up there? Um, uh, no I want the treasure chest. I just um, eliminated the shit on top of it. I would 10 out of 10 like the treasure chest. Can you move that? Can you move that? <sighs> what is that? No. Oh. Maybe there's something around here that you can break. I gotta break up this shit. And oh, it, it's just gonna for a fucking Yeah, troll. essentially. Solid. That's exactly what Yeah, I, mean. I gotta just Yeah, I'm not happy about what's happening here. Um, but I've been watch its knees. Look, I'm gonna be fully honest. I've been watched on her in two days. Okay. Like that thing look, I am so fascinated with Jeffrey Dahmer, it's not even fucking funny how fascinating I am. Well, and like, a part of me, or most of me, I've been trying to explain it to my couple, couple of my coworkers. I'm like, why are you watching it? Because clearly you're not enjoying it. I want to watch it for the actor. Like, his for his Oh, sake. for Evan Peters? Yeah. 110%. Yes. That man does a fantastic job. Holy shit. And I feel like he hasn't gotten enough credit for his acting. Like, he's always been funneled to the American War Story, but he is an incredible a phenomenal actor. actor. So, like, Ooh. I'm in it for him. I just want to see it for him. <laughs> no, 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 watch it for him. Is I the am. Is contact thing real? What? The yellow contact thing with Dahmer? Mm hmm. I didn't know that. I mean, was... they did yellow, or they did blue, because um, Dahmer has blue eyes, so it was kind of like a nod to him. But, like, um, yeah, he used to wear yellow contacts. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't legit. quite sure if that was just, like, I, I haven't looked into, like, how much they finessed the story to make Um, it no, they, they finessed it a little bit, but there is moments. Did you reach the point where they actually have a legit police call? Yes. Yeah. With the, with the younger, the adolescent? No, with the, about the adolescent. Yeah, about the 14 year old. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Where just his neighbor. That. Yeah, I think that's episode two. So, like, they do try to stay as, like, on point as they can. However, I will tell you, like, the way he actually dies is not. Dahmer? 
or how the kid. Do, how do, do you know how Dahmer dies? He's playing with the spoon and got stabbed. No. Not how, no. Well, what happened then? Because I heard that he was playing with his food and another inmate got sick of it and decided to kill him. No, like an, another inmate 110% did get sick of him and killed him. That is for sure what happened. But like that inmate had like schizophrenia, bipolar issues, like right? Mm. So, um, should not have done him. This was a bad choice. <laughs> um, because I'm talking about Dahmer, and I'm so I'm half here, half not. Um, so if I die, just know that that's why. It's because um, of Dahmer. It's because of Jeffrey Yammer. Um, because I could talk about Jeffrey Dahmer all fucking day. If this episode is not titled the Dahmer episode, <laughs> we'll be disappointing you, McKay. The Dahmer syndrome. The Dahmer epi- The Dahmer syndrome. The Dahmer episode. What um, is that big old wolf? What is it doing here? I'm confused. Why is there a wolf in there? There's a wolf. There's a wolf. Where? Why is there a wolf in here? Oh, there's a wolf. I read about him. Why is he in here? Because there's some wolfies. Silly little thing. I don't know. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, there are more though. Just keep throwing the axe at it. I see. Yeah, fucking thieves. So okay. Yeah, I don't fucking care about stone burping. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I, I don't. Oh well, he killed me. That's fine because of Jeffrey Dahmer, you know. Oh. <laughs> The only thing I'm mad about with the Netflix docu, because it's like a docu, um, it's a drama, docu drama. So like, like a... most of it is accurate, but some of it is exaggerated. But they yeah. don't actually show how he really died because if they did, well, they couldn't show it on TV. Because he got a well, so he died. <clears throat> he died accurately. Like they did show him dying in the um, like him and another inmate were cleaning like the gym or whatever on cleaning duty and then they allowed this inmate to go with them who hated Dahmer. Right. But like hated Dahmer but like um like was on like schizophrenic and like yeah. killed Dahmer on purpose because he literally like it says in the docu series like like that is the attestment like God told me so. Oh yeah yeah I've heard bits and pieces but, of that. But so like but both of him and his um mate died or like because it like Jesse was his roommate who's who died with him but they both were like um like the guy killed them like and they both killed people for fucked up like fucked up yeah. shit and the guy was like schizo and like found out about it I don't mean schizo in a negative context so if you're no, schizophrenic you I'm so sorry I just don't feel like saying schizophrenia again <laughs> I'm just lazy as <laughs> fuck well. fuck I'm dying it's more about laziness <laughs> than that it is the negative connotations of that word anyway um, I mean it in as schizophrenic. I just am way too lazy to say that again. Hang on. <laughs> she needs to take a sip. <laughs> I need a sip of my press. Um, not spawns, but wood spawns. <laughs> ten out of ten wood spawns. Um, but so here, so like essentially, he beats him like for the most part to death with like a dumbbell. Oh, okay. or like a dumbbell rack. Like, however, he does shove a fucking. Where are we on the episode? He does shove a broomstick up his ass. Oh, does he? Yeah. He, like, he, like, I think the actual injury of death is the broomstick up his ass. From what I understand, like, Dahmer's death was pretty... It was gruesome as shit. Yeah. Like, he, like, that guy, like... It was minimal compared to what he had affected and what he had done to the Milwaukee area. Yeah. Yeah. Like... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, like I, like we actually know somebody whose friend was killed by Dahmer. I will tell you who that is off screen. Um, you know, we grew up with like her kids. I will tell you off screen. Okay, yeah. I will tell I you off screen. Hold this at all? Um, because they have private lives, and I'm. Yeah. It's not like it's like the victim's kid. It's just like a friend of one of Dahmer's victims. Oh, I see. Um. Oh shit, fuck. Oh. Um, it's not like vic- uh, like victims of like, uh, but it's like uh, Some sort of somebody who, who like yeah, it's like you you will look at me and go oh shit. Um, unless you want to bleep it right now. No, we'll just bleep. okay. Um, yeah. but I'll tell you off screen when we're done with this episode as I continue to die here yeah. because I'm chatting about Jeffrey Dahmer because serial killers are my passion. Uh, it's fine. I, I don't even care that this episode has turned into me talking about how I love true crime. That's fine. Mm. Well, and, like, the serial killers are, we'll like, an odd it. blend because they're so abstract from reality. So far. Like, but, like, so a lot of people like to say, like, serial killers only form because of bad childhoods. However, Jeffrey Dahmer 
and um, uh, Ted Bundy are cases of that's not being accurate. Well, with... Okay, so... And again, I've only seen, like, into episode two, and I haven't looked deeper into it. So with Dahmer, it was a situation where, like, something went wrong with the surgery? Nope. So Dahmer, he never believed that. So... Okay, that was just an excuse. That was just his dad trying to come up with a reason. I want to read the dad's um the dad wrote a book and i would like to read a fa- like i think it's called a father's story okay um but it's about his like him trying to figure out how jeff ended up the way jeff did and it's very fascinating um and they mention it in the series um for sure they mention it in the series i just haven't um i would like to find it and read it yeah i'd be curious about that too because super would like to find it and read it i think i think the best thing i've heard about this scenario is that like uh, um, there's a, you know, there's a, a, a biological disconnect, and then it's behavioral tactics that are left unchecked. For, and then it just, for Jeff, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I would say for most scenarios for serial killers, it's just behavioral tactics that work. Or it's borderline personality disorder yeah. left unchecked, essentially, is what yeah. it is. So, um, where this comes so in... So Freud wasn't too far away. No. <laughs> no, he was not. Um, not entirely, anyway. <laughs> good old Freud. I mean, good old fucking Freud. I mean, he's not entirely incorrect. Oh, mother... What the fuck? Mother frickity fuck! Oh, oh he killed me. I mother... I've never actually seen that death sequence. Son of a bitch. Son of a Speaking bitch. Speaking of which, they dropped the, um... I just watched Mifa yawn and Mifi? stretch. It was very cute. We're gonna go um, back to Dahmer here in a second. <laughs> um, they dropped the uh, a trailer, another trailer for the Dead Space remake. Would like to see that. Will that show up on this channel? I, I feel like we have a commitment. <laughs> I feel I like we. Be. You have to play it though. I have to. Like I'm not playing that fucking shit. That's, that's fair. That's no, fair. no, no, no. Bitch is out. Like I will pay. <laughs> look. I'll play horror games. That's fine. Like, I'm, you know what? I, I'm not even that mad. I'll play horror games. That's fine. <laughs> I, just that one. I just don't want anything to do with. And I know it's close it's, and dear to your heart. It's so good. You can play Dead Space. I'll play Final <laughs> Fantasy VII. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Look, it's fine. Or I'll, like, you know, anyway. Going back to Dom. Mr. Dom boy. <laughs> back to the Dom. Mr. Back to the Dom. Look, anyway, I can circle this somehow back to, like... <laughs> Just look, bitch, I, look, I'll make Fuck it. Fuck you, werewolf. So, here's the thing, is, like, I'm relatively, oh, god fucking damn it, I'm too distracted. <laughs> this episode's gonna be Rachel's Distractions. Um, <laughs> aka, Serial Killers! <laughs> ah! I'm trying not to blow out her mic, it's not going very well. <laughs> I do that, I think, every episode, at least. Yeah, it's fine, though. Shut up. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you just tell me to shut, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> no, I'm telling myself to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Mother! Fuck you! Fucker! Okay, it's fine. I'm yelling into the distance. <laughs> oh my god, Atreus! Help me! Help! Help! I need it so bad! <laughs> Remember your shield. Your, yeah, that thing. There it is. Ah! ah! It doesn't matter. Not me. It's fine. <laughs> I hope you're just getting pure entertainment out of this episode. That's what this has turned into. So the only thing I'm really disappointed in with the Dahmer series on Netflix, I have recently found out, and I'm a little annoyed, little salty, super, not a little salty, I'm fucking salty. Um, so I'm in a bit, I'm a big believer, if you're going to make a thing about a serial killer, that's fine. Contribute to the family. Yeah, that's Contribute what to the family. is that they didn't reach out to the victims' families at all. They didn't... You know what? If you're, like, because you're gonna make these people relive this shit. If you're right. gonna do that, you know what? Pay them! Yeah. <laughs> Pay them anything that you got from the proceeds of this in any yeah. capacity. I'm all for making your bank, but at the same time, you make sure you take care of those who were affected by this. Yeah. And, like, while, like, serial killers are fascinating for a lot of us, and a lot of us are, like, Bingo, bingo, bongo. I would love to learn more. Um, like, me, myself, and I. Um, just me, maybe. Um, well, no, I would say in general that there's there's a high demand for this type of content just because it is so abnormal. But oh. it's a high-profiting, you know, oh, topic. Yes. 
It is. I think that you, you take those extra steps ensuring that you're protecting the the rights of the victim's families and providing them the support because yeah you're just right. tearing the the wound or oh, the, the proverbial you know scar and reliving those memories but because you're doing that you know you better pay them you better compensate them in some fashion or ask them um something you know if you don't want to ooh that was a fun woo <laughs> Um, anyway, um, but like, I'm all for like looking into that fascination of serial killers, but however, you need to compensate the families, yeah. you need to make um, some recognition towards the families yeah. in some fashion. So, I was a little disappointed in Netflix. I'm looking right at you, Bucko. I don't give a fuck. I'll call you out. Looking at you. Staring at my this mic. This isn't the first time that someone's done a cash grab, and in general, no. with the past few years, um, serial killer um, dramas or documentaries have been very much a high demand, or they've been very popular. Yeah, they have been. I mean, I, which there's I been get. what, like at least five? No, because this isn't the first Dahmer release. There my was friend a one Jeff via was Amazon. Yeah, and, Amazon Prime is my friend Jeff. Yeah. Um, which uh, someone else told me to watch. I've heard it was amazing. I don't know, however, if my friend Jeff is, like, um, actually, like, has anything to, like, if the families were notified or compensated in any fashion or yeah. more. I have no idea. I just know Netflix didn't do that, um, and I'm sad, sad to hear that. Yeah. Simply because, um, uh, my whole thing with it is, like, like we're talking about, if you're gonna, like, make something off of somebody else's drama, right. you know, fucking compensate somebody. Right. You know, make them a part of the conversation because yeah. they should be. They deserve and to be. someone asked me, like, like they heard that like Dahmer becomes like the hero, and I'm like, in no aspect does Netflix like no. make Dahmer the hero. I will admit. So like, people are like, does Dahmer become the hero in it? And I'm like, no, no, no. They don't do any of that. I will admit they don't do any of that. They don't. No, no, no. Like they do not. Um, so which is a good thing. Like, because a lot of serial killer documentaries have the ha tendency in the history. To make like the serial killer the uh well, um the like you know badass like right. ha ha motherfucker look at me go right. uh but no 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 there's like um, this anti-hero archetype that gets thrown into the mix and i think that's just like a general commentary about our society in general of, like being limited to information and objectifying Correct. a scenario that has much more Significance. It's, it's mainly seen with Bundy, not so much Dahmer. I um, don't know. There's a huge Dahmer fan base right now. I'm that's... not going to say that there's not a huge Dahmer fan base. Oh, don't make me do these both again. Oh, God. no. Mother <laughs> fucking fuck. It's fine. I'm going like, to just continue to talk about Dahmer. It's there's, chill. there's a level oh, of no, I just have one. that um, hasn't really been highlighted. I mean, like, I've heard, you know, there are been unsaid stories about you know uh, fans of serial killers or fans of people who've had substantial notoriety and like they propelled it um, you know propelled them forward with fame like for example uh, there was a short documentary about the Amityville Horror Amityville Horror oh yeah. that family okay look well, I have so, one of my favorite films ever but continue but, well, one of the points that kind of really stuck with me is that, you know, the brother, the surviving... The um, one that killed them all? Yeah, the surviving <laughs> member of the family, he, you know, he lived the rest of his life in prison, but he had a substantial fan following. He did, and, and so did they, Dollar. They all have. Yeah, and he had a substantial influx of money that kept him going pretty well because he had just this fan base because of what he did so there's like a there's like an unspoken group of people who are obsessed with them macabre in a way that's not healthy not healthy at all <laughs> Like I'm all like I'm obsessed with like learning about it and hearing about it because like the fascination behind it, right? right? But like, would I sit here and write them? Fuck no! Right. Like hell no! There's, Not there's a difference no. between fascinated about like the, the psychological 
and like what we, happened that someone yes. would have to take to to make this it's the same with when you see like a, a you know a bad character in the movie like oh being yeah able to nail down like okay what what leaps did they take to come to this like what in their in their psychosis broke them down to make this oh, yeah. justification yes but then like seeing another polar end that fantasizes yes. and sees this as is a positive it's really oh my amazing. god he's hot for doing that like yeah. there's there's a difference in like being interested in true crime and like loving true crime like i do and there's a difference between being like oh my god <sighs> yeah. dumber baby there's... let me touch myself like no there's like a big difference between those two things and like while i think um it's okay to have fascination and like be like how did he get from point a to point b I don't think it's okay to be like, I would love to, like, be like, meet Dahmer. No. Fuck no. Yeah, that's... Hell no. Would I love to interview him in, like, a scientific standpoint and, like, find out what the fuck was going on right. in that head? Yes. Did you ever, um... Yes, I would. But in the other aspects of, like, oh my god, I would love to just write for him and, like, get his technology out. Like, so many people do. Um, hell no. Yeah, fuck it's, um... no. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's worrisome. <laughs> that people are like that? that yeah. That, that there's, uh, there's a fantastical element, there's a, a romantic, you know. Romanticization. Yeah. Yeah. Romanticizing. Romanticizing that type of behavior. Yeah. It's fucked. It, if I'm going to be fully honest, it's, ooh, talent bell update. Not clear. Ooh, hey -o. Unfortunately, I think we're always going to run into that. To a degree, when it comes also to um, severe extremes, <laughs> yes, of humanity, it's it's just a it's a really humans are awful. <laughs> yeah, humans. Are I awful. think it's the point that we're getting to is that um, we're people, messy. People suck. <laughs> people fucking suck. We're and messy. you know what? And with that, I will tell humans. Well, I I'm gonna say to people right now. Is like everybody's like looking for a reason. Sometimes there's not one, which is where I go and like what I like to tell people with um, Dahmer and like people like Dahmer and Bundy, where they had a relatively normal childhood. Um, like yes, they they're like were their parents perfect? No. Where their arguments was their divorces? Yes. However, what I like to remind people with people like Dahmer and um, because everybody likes to say um, that serial killers only form out of trauma. However, if if we've learned anything from Dahmer and Bundy, that that is not the case. Um, and it's a fascinating, and it's kind of like a fantastical moment to be like, oh no, they're not just of trauma. They're not just of this. They're not just of that. While evidence supports, yes, if you do X, yeah. Y, and Z, A could be the result. However, it is not a guarantee that A is the result. Yeah. You may have a normal childhood, and A could still be the result. Now, someone I've something I've been asked recently, specifically by um, a handful of people that know that I love uh, serial killers and uh, try, tr I'm a huge true crime fan. Um, they asked me, why, Rachel, do you think there are not as many, um, serial killers? There's two reasons. I've got two, two schools of thought for this. In, in today's age, compared to, like, 19, like, 60 to now, like, 1990. Mm -hmm. I've got two schools of thought for that. And the people that ask me agree with my schools of thought. Um, now, you don't have to agree with it, but I would love to have a conversation with it up down below. Because, like, I love this shit, so let's talk about it. I would love to hear people's series. I'm here for it. My two thoughts are one, it is very much harder with um, technology being the way it is, with phones being GPS trackers and having constant access to the internet or X, Y, and Z or people in general, um, that like it's so much harder for someone to go missing and not find. Does it still happen? Yes, but like with that volume of people that like serial killers have the tendency to kill, which is like, you know, anywhere from like 10 to at least above. Yeah. You know, there are serial killers that have killed, you know, at least their, some of their kill counts are ridiculously high, like hundreds of people. Substantial. Substantial. Hundreds of people. 
Oh, no, However, no. oh shit, I fucking hate this oh, boss fight. Say, oh you're, you're shit, fist, fuck. You're facing I was not Moby prepared for Magni and Maudie. Magni and I was not. Uh, oh, I forgot oh. about them. <laughs> Son of a shit. I was not ready for this. <laughs> okay. I'm going to continue to talk about Dahmer because it's going to make me feel better. <laughs> um, uh, we may get through this in this episode. We may not, ladies and gentlemen. I got to pick one to focus on, and I'm going to focus on Madi. But I'm going to continue my um, schools of thought. So my schools of thought is one that. Like, you know, it's much harder to get away with that and, like, continue to say, hey, like, I can get away with that and not be identified because of um, the way police identify people and stuff like that nowadays with DNA evidence and yada, yada, yada. You know, it's 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 much it's much harder to get away with some of that stuff than it was in the 1990s, 1970s, yeah. 1960s. You know, shit, fuck. I was gonna say back in the 70s, it was pulling everyone's teeth out just trying to fucking locate and, Bundy. Well, Jesus just Christ, to, just to pass documentation between um, police. Um, uh, right, um, buildings, police like, stations. So yeah, Bundy like going killed across state. That yeah. was probably one of the most difficult things that was able to, you know, that would allow for finding someone like Bundy is just because the communication was so limited. So Bundy actually killed Not in multiple universal. states and was able to because of these reasonings, right? Mm -hmm. So because it's it was so difficult to locate him, and like it was like the ability to email, you know, even alone was, you know, not a thing in the 1970s, and now is a thing, um, you know, here, now, in the 21st century, right? Like, right. it's something you and I can do. However, in the 1970s, that was not a thing. That was not an option. That was not was something that was going to happen. Um, so, which, you know, we've learned, we've grown. We've grown in a society with technology. So that's my first school of thought. And now somebody else brought up to me, and I think this is an interesting one, is um, something that happened between 1970 and now. Abortion was legalized in the 1970s, right? Right, that was the thing. That was legalized. So, how many people are from, or could be from, a broken home that did not have the opportunity to, like, turn into whatever the hell they could have turned into because they were aborted at a young age, you know, aborted? So, like, that's the second school of thought. Um, I think both are super fucking fascinating for so many reasons that I will sit here and talk about it forever. Um, uh, I, I will. And I think it's absolutely fantastical um, to, to think about um, when you think of it in that direction. Um, especially in the direction of, like, abortion or, like, in the direction of, like, hey, like, because of abortion, we didn't have this, um, amount of people born that could have been bro born yeah. into a broken home right. or into an abusive oh, so situation. Cool. Yeah. So because of that, like, that's a fantastical and very interesting argument. Yeah, and no, I've never thought about that. No, that and I didn't, point. you know, I didn't either. And then somebody brought it up to me, um, my friend... Ashley brought it up to me, and I was like, oh, that's fascinating. And then, funny enough, she brought it up to me, and I was like, ooh, TikTok. <laughs> and then somebody TikTok. on TikTok, because Dom is... the talk! The ticky talk ticky talk is trending, you know. Um, TikTok is a trending thing, obviously, as we all know. Yeah. So because of that, um, you know, um, people bring up interesting points, and that was something that was brought up yeah. since Dahmer is, like, a trending thing right now. Well, yeah, no, you know, that's a thought I haven't... I mean, it's not something you thought of, and it's no. not something I immediately thought of either. Well, and from what I understand is that, you know, the, the serial killers that we know, or the, the, the quote-unquote renowned serial killers, you know, we could say that I, I think it would be safe to, you know, project that they were at a level to where they were not at a point of killing to kill, but they were killing and challenging to be caught. So they were making mistakes or yes. doing things to grab attention. So the only reason why we caught on is because they were they were trying to get caught. There came a point, yeah, where a lot of serial killers attempted to get caught because right. they didn't think they were catchable. And I know um, Dahmer, not Dahmer, Bundy was one of those. Right. Um, 
Well, oh, and shit. and so just catching a few of the ones that had, you know, that were doing things to to potentially make themselves get caught, mm -hmm. they were the ones that streamlined, you know, the the programs in which solve like let's proactively yep. try to figure out what they're thinking. So, you know. <laughs> it's only because of serial killers wanting to get caught or making that extra challenge or being more oblivious did we actually get here. incorporate programs where we could potentially try to understand and maybe methodically think out what they might do next. Right. Because <laughs> it wasn't a thing until the 70s and 80s. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? While they existed, it just wasn't a very common thing. No, it wasn't. No. It yes. wasn't a thing that was understood or really contemplated in our society. Yeah. W did uh, they exist? 110%. Oh, yeah, definitely. But to the level that what's, they what's did? What's the woman's name? Hatchet. There was a whole... Margaret Hackett? Yeah. There I believe it's her name. Yeah. There was female serial killer, while not nearly as common as male, um, they still existed. Um, is it fascinating? 110%. Um, do I think it's fun to learn about? And do I think it's very interesting that a huge chunk of them come from, oh, the good old Midwest? <laughs> um, yeah. It's very interesting to think of how many of them are yeah. actually from Wisconsin or Illinois or, like, from these areas. Um, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh god, oh, you're doing They're so good. Your ass. Oh no, I was doing super good, and then uh, <laughs> then I fucked up, and he used too many whole things too early. <laughs> the one was stunned, so I was doing really good. <laughs> I'm halfway, or oh, I was well, over halfway. Nice gave... Oh, that was a cheap shot. Well, at least they give you a checkpoint. Yeah, they do. Um, they have to with these guys. They suck ass. But yeah, no, I mean, serial killers in general are a very fascinating subject and topic. Um, but, like, there's a difference, I will say, like, we've been talking about between, like, loving them, right? And, like, right. between, like, um, wanting to understand them, right? I'm right. here for wanting to understand, learning, researching, and understanding, like, the idea be behind them. The, like, serial killers, again, are fascinating things fascinating from people a and like psychological aspect yes yes <laughs> from a psychological aspect of course that's what i mean here um if you didn't understand that i don't know how to help you <laughs> um especially because i've been like that's my whole point that's why i love true crime because true crime is a very interesting mm. subject while could have i ever been a police officer nah no. um but do i work with people all day long yeah and do the elderly however tell you things that they've done in their past that you go that's fucked up yeah they do um we'll say 10 out of 10 have had some elderly people <laughs> be like yeah i fucking abused the shit out of my wife and me go that's fucking weird yeah. um but you know i always tell people in that aspect of stuff it's like well people abused the shit out of their wives in the 1950s because they it was societal yeah norm. it was a constructed norm was it right no no, no but you know bitch <laughs> But, Not like, is it fascinating to learn about the cultural things from, like, the 1950s, 60s, and 70s? Yes, and that's why we have people, like, learning about things like people like Dahmer. You know, we get to learn these fascinating things about their psychological aspects, and we get to sit here as people and be like, that's fucking weird! Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I gotta rotate. <laughs> Your mama. Your mama's so ugly. That's oh, what they're doing right now. Son of a bitch. Yeah, they're making fun of his mom. <laughs> I forgot about that oh, part. Oh, can you do the health thing? <laughs> I don't think so right now. Oh, shit. Ooh. I hate this one. It's so dumb. <sighs> Ooh. Fuck. I might have died. Yeah, I did die. Shit. Is it just gonna jump you to this, though? Mm-hmm. I hope so. Should. Or just before. 
Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Good, good, good. So, like, here's here's what we'll talk about here at the kitties and the biddies of the gaming is that we are utterly fascinated with the fact that um, serial killers exist, and I am a huge True Grant fan. If you would like to talk serial killer theories down in the comments below, we can talk it. That's fine. Um, I would love to have that conversation. Come for me. I am great. Look at me and my goddamn sword. God damn it. Haha. -ha. I hate that part. There you go. Nice. Um, but. I'm sorry. Woohoo! I forgot that they pitched each other on you. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you kind of gotta like focus on one at a time and then go from there nice. because otherwise they're like a mess to try and deal with. No, I honestly forgot that they were actually a thing in this game. I thought they were just cameos for sake Modi of cameos. and Magni. Yeah. No, you gotta fucking fuck them up, and you gotta kill one of them as a t at a time. And I think the uh, how I'm doing it is not actually how they recommend it. Wait, do you actually kill them? I don't remember this. Yeah. Ooh. Well, that's gonna piss off before. Oh, you know what? Yeah. It does, yes, you're yeah. correct. <laughs> well, it it's does just piss like, off I Thor. don't remember the nuances of everything. I mean, I know that I know that at the end of the Thor is just pissed in general. Well, but... Thor, Thor's coming for you. Yeah. Thor's coming for you whether you like it or not. Ah! That's Hail! bullshit. I Hail! was fucking garden. Fuck you, electricity. You're not cool. Oh, he's out. Yeah, he is. Is that Schmeichel? I don't know. Now that I've spent this entire episode talking about Downer. Yeah, viewers, sorry if you hear like some weird shuffling. That's usually my being shuffled me upstairs. <laughs> shuffly. I don't know what you know, shuffly indicates. Fuck his shuffly shit. Nice. Damn straight. Fuck you! Why, why did you get health? They give each other health. Bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's kind of garbage. Oh, Are you? you? Son of a bitch! Please let it take you to like the. It should take me just after the uh, God damn dark it. out. Well, at least you're out of the stupid electric thing. Oh. Darkness. Nice dodge. Yeah, his dodges you gotta be good about. Because that happens. Screw you and your electricity. You're only lucky because your father has thunder. Essentially, yeah. Oh, have you watched the latest Thor movie? A God of Thunder? Yeah. No. You should just for Christian Bale's sake. Is he in it? Yeah, he's the he's the antagonist. And he can <laughs> He commits That's to the role funny. and he does a really good job. Like, if you don't watch it for Liam Hemsworth, do it for. You wanna know why Christian I haven't given a shit about any superhero movie in a long time? Because they're all the same. Because, yeah. <laughs> oh, goody, the good guy wins. Yeah, no, I don't disagree with nice. you. Since Endgame, I've. I'm sorry. I did care a lot for. Um, Um, the, uh, Scarlet Witch and... Never watched that. That one is good. It's devastating, emotionally. And I've that's heard where that. I've, I've just petered out. Scarlet Johansson? Oh, no, 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 no. Um... Florence Pugh? Is that what I mean? Florence? The, the Scarlet Witch and the, um, Oh, Vision and Scarlet. Yes, Never Vision. Mind. That's it. Vision. Yeah. I was like... Who are you talking about? It I was, thought you were talking it about was Black one of Widow. The like the first Disney Plus um, series. And they did a really good job with it. Ah, oh, shit! Look at that health bar! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! Give me my rage bar! I didn't have one! Fire um, rage is what it is. Been doing so good, too. That's jumping. Fuck you when you're electric. They suck. This boss fight isn't like horrid by any stretch, but it's not my favorite. Yeah. 
The boulder fights are probably my favorite mm, fights. Those are fun. Because they're fun. Because there's a lot of fun, like, banter back and forth. Where, like, this yeah. one is just, like, <laughs> him just making fun of Atreus the entire time. Yeah. And being like, a lot your of mama mama jokes. Your mom is so fat. A lot oh of my jokes. god, did you know your mom is so fat? However, the reason why I don't like this is because, like, they piss off Atreus to a point where, like, he becomes, like, unconsolable. Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. Stop doing what you're doing. Ah! Where? Cool. Nice dodge. That was that was good timing. Attack! Attack Magni! Piece of and shit. I need some health. I want some health first. And oh, then... Fuck you and your lightning. Oh no, he has a tress. Yeah, I don't know if I give a shit. You can do this. Uh -huh. Fuck you, Modi. Yeah, it's Modi and Magni, and both of them. You guys are the worst. Suck, major ass. Like, <laughs> most boring characters. They really are. They are really just in it for this moment. Whew. Let me run towards the health real fast. The hail. He hail. Oh, son of a bitch. Fuck you. Oh, I you. dodged. I can't remember the oh, look out. oh, okay. Alright, the game just decided to glitch for you. Attack! Attack Modi! He's down! Just keep fuck, fuck. Oh, fuck you. I can't oh, uh, I can't it. get up. when they're down like that, I can't. God damn it! Nah, I can't do You're it. You're so close! I know. Yeah, except I don't have a full rage bar. I, it, it, like, the tip is nice, yeah, except my rage is empty, so that's chill. Yeah, they really, uh... Fuck you, Modi. Magni. Which one is... I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. I don't... Ask me if I care enough. <laughs> ask me? Oh, I don't? Nice. Watch this. Look at that. Look at that shit. What's stupid though is when I block, sometimes it's just like, eh, you yeah, know what? You did? Like that. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I got off Dahmer and I feel like I was doing really good until then. <laughs> oh, I feel like when I was talking about Dahmer, I was doing great. What is this? <laughs> what a um, contradiction. Okay. Should I talk about John Wayne Gacy now? You know, I really don't know a lot about <gasps> I do! What is that? Not a surprise! <laughs> I know a lot about Ed Gein, and I know, I know a, an okay amount about, um... Uh, the Night Stalker. Oh my gosh. The Green um, River Killer? Which no, one do you want to talk about? <laughs> no, he was known. He, he was known as the guy. Who's like, he's so likable. How could he be a serial killer? Um, That's literally Ted Bundy. 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 But he's not California. He was in California. Mm -mm. That's where they it's started Oregon. to link up. Oh, was it Oregon? Mm -hmm. It was in that general. It was Oregon and Washington where they were able to link it together. Son of a bitch. Because he would, he would bounce. It was Oregon between, and Washington. Uh, he would go to Cal area. Yeah. No, no, no. I know a lot about a lot of these dudes. Well, his residency was actually in California, right? With his wife? Washington. Washington? Okay. That's where he was found. All, everything took place in Washington. He killed people in Oregon most of the time. Okay, this is our last time, and then if I don't get it this time, then uh, we will pause the episode, because technically we're over, and then once I kill everybody, we'll, we'll return. Hopefully this time we'll record it. Uh, and not like last time, where yeah, I we'll completely it it forgot. <laughs> Well, fuck. Nice. I know, I'm the best. <sighs> oh, I dodged! Duh! Garbage! <laughs> Let me just... I, I appreciate Atreus for losing his temper, but he needs to... Let me... Where's my health? Well, Non-existent! We... Well, be bad. Okay. I'm almost there. You got this. This is gonna be the time. You got this. As I continue to talk about Dahmer, because somehow that <laughs> makes me. Well, do you want to talk a little bit about Gacy? Oh, fuck. I'll talk about Gacy all day. 
I feel like I need to take the this clown? Out. Yeah, he's the clown. So, I have not wanted to get easy at all. What do you want to wind up? But he was, I'll tell you uh, all about him. So he went to, he was a clown, obviously, for kids. Mm -hmm. Parties, mm -hmm. right? So did he go after kids, or was no. it just the parents? Or no, he went after like teenagers. Okay. I don't remember. It's it was high. Well, that doesn't surprise me. He was high. He was fucked because, like, he was sadistic in the fact that, like, he would um. He, uh, when he killed people, he killed in, like, a torturistic style. So, like, when he killed, he went for, like, throat. Um, in the aspect of, like, he fucking tortured the shit out of people. Like, his- was say, was good He went after, like, he- He went after young, like, usually the age is between, like, 20, 19 to 20 men. So, like, Gacy ran- So, Gacy- the shitty thing about Gacy, Gacy, again, grew up with a relatively normal childhood. He's another one that falls into that. Um, that's not what I hit, but that's fine. Well, it worked, though. I mean, it did. It worked out in my favor, but it's fine. Um, so, with Gacy, he grew up, you know, like, kind of had, like, a weird household, but, like, nothing, like, you know, he had parents who yelled at him, but, like, nothing, like, overly right. traumatic in any sense of the word. It wasn't such a... He wasn't horrifically abused in any fashion. He wasn't sexually abused in any fashion. Like, he just... You know, I mean... Was he... Did he have, like, parents that yelled at him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, like, does everybody? Yes. Would I call what he went through abuse? Right. Did he experience moments where I was like, that's fucked up? Yeah, everybody does. But... Right. So with Gacy... Um, the reason why Gacy was super fucked was because he, so what he did is he ran a contracting business in Illinois. So he was a contractor and construction worker, um, in the state of Illinois. So what he did was employ men, young men, um, and he would, um, he would, um, like, rape, he would drug them bound and gag them, like, hogtie them, um, and then he would just fucking, like, torture them endlessly. And, like, to the point of torture that it was, like, levels of, like, fuckery that, like, he would drown them, he would, um, he would drown them, he would do, like, he would hogtie them and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Like, he was just levels of fuckery that, like, I wouldn't even, I couldn't even imagine. Um, so, like, but the worst thing is, is, like, he did it in people's, like, when he killed people, like, he did it in his fucking house, buried them underneath the house. Right, And right. then, there was a total, well, I think of, just, like, did he, he ran have, a room like, um, underneath his house. He just had, like, loose dirt, or he didn't have, like, any foundation, right, so he just... He didn't have a basement, so right. he had a claw, crawl space, and he would go underneath his crawl space. You can talk, but we're not recording. Um, well, we are, but are we? We are, but I thought that <laughs> I thought that maybe you would by now, but <laughs> I also thought I would win by now. I'm a little salty about this. Oh my god, you're so close! Let's go! Let's go! You're so damn close! Take him out! Take him out! Get your help! Take him out! Are you telling me not to talk over him? Just do it. You're so close. You're so close. Just fucking did it, did it. Fuck you. Fuck you, Modi. Oh, mother. Yes. yes. Fucking yes. frick fuck. Woo. Yes. Mother. Nice little oh, girl. <laughs> Let's go. That shot was everything fuck I needed. Fuck you, me and Modi. Woo. Wait. Oh, ooh, baby, do you know what that's like? <laughs> Heaven is a place on oh. earth. Fuck your skull, Magni. I'm coming for you, Modi. Look at me, I'm coming for you. Modi, you oh. better be scared, you ginger motherfucker. I'm coming to take off that beard. Woo! Oh, Atreus. Uh, woo! 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 Oh, Atreus. Thank you, Atreus. You freaked out too much. I don't. Take care of the boy. Oh, son Take of care a bitch. Of the boy. I would like 
everybody to know I dedicate this one <laughs> to Mike over here. Thank you for the shot. Yes. And um, to Meepy over here for being a Meep. Thank you. Appreciate you, my fan base. And uh, I would like to dedicate this to myself. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Thank you. And maybe talking about serial killers because that did <laughs> that did get me here. <laughs> Oh, Atreus. Son of a bitch. Push too hard. He got too angry. Maybe, but thank you. Uh, and I would like to dedicate this win to Mimir, the head. And uh, maybe I already dedicated it to you. Um, uh, we're going to collect these things. All right, we're going to collect. Yeah, real quick. collect all the things. Real quick, we're just going to collect. Uh, oh, oh, Emily. A collecting? Ah, we're collecting. Um, uh, I think that's all I can collect. Um, so you know what? Fuck you, Maggie. We're done for today. We're all done. Right. We're done. We're, well, we're done with God of War. We still have to film three episodes of The Quarry. Two. Three. Because I have one for this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how you think we're going to meet that expectation. <laughs> Maybe there will only be one episode this weekend of the quarry. <laughs> like last weekend, excuse us, my brother's wedding happened, and then my wedding's around the corner. So if shit's weird, just know that I. Shit's I'm, weird. Just know that I'm in charge of the quarry, and I'm very sorry about it. <laughs> just hold, okay? We're working on. Just know that I'm trying my best, but wedding planning is hard. Yeah, anyway. You know? And you know what? If you're good little boys and girls, I will share my, um, because I'm getting a videographer, it sounds like, um, I will share my wedding video on this YouTube channel. Nice. I love and appreciate all of you head kisses all yeah, around. all the kisses. All the kisses for all the heads. My wedding video will be up on this YouTube channel if y'all, um, to make up for one video of the quarry <laughs> this week. Um, uh, Rachel's gonna just face drop and so is Michaela because that's how this is gonna go now because yeah. I don't give a shit anymore about uh, you caring what I look like. I don't care anymore. Katie, you're so pissy. Are you pissy, maybe? Mipa is very pissy. Meow uh, one more time okay, if you're pissy. I, honestly, I am not torturing her. She's just very... She's very just so upset. vocal. She's just a vocal cat. <laughs> Are you Meepy? Oh, oh there she God. goes. So Merry upset. Christmas. Happy <laughs> New Year. Uh, I love you all so much. Forehead kisses all around. Uh, don't forget to participate in the Holy <laughs> Trinity. Um, that is uh, the YouTube chance, which is, um, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, Share with your friends. Things. We appreciate all of you. We love you all so fucking much. Thank you so much for watching us here at the Kitties and the Fitties of the Gamings. I am motherfucking Rachel. <laughs> yeah. I am... Is this the moment where we out that I'm like a double D? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you had the impact. I can't really. Did you see the jiggle from across yeah, the way? <laughs> There's a double D, and here I'm like, oh, baby. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bitch has got some tits. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Thanks for participating in the Holy Trinity. Oh, we love and appreciate you with all of our hearts. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.